Welcome to my kitchen, and I have my happy little Easter bunny here with me today. Yeah, happy Easter, sweetie. How are you? I'm great. I'm trying to get ready for the kids for Easter. Yeah, it's a big holiday. It's a huge holiday, yes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these ordinary peeps and we're gonna try to make them better. So what you're gonna start with is peeps. I like to do the bunnies. So here's a bunny. Yeah, these are marshmallow. They're just marshmallow, that's all they are. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take like a stick yeah. from um, making caramel apples. I dip it in some melted candy melts, white. And so what I'll do is I'll just set them on a plate, then I stick them in the fridge and they'll harden up. So what I'm gonna do is I've got white chocolate, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip my bunnies in the white chocolate. I've melted it, and what I do is I let all the extra kind of come off, and then I slide the bunny bottom on the side of the pan, and then I'm gonna set it on a raised rack so any extra chocolate will fall below. So, and you want them to kind of keep the character of their ears, the integrity of the bunny look. <laughs> you, what are you doing to your bunny? Stand it up so you can see what we're doing. Oh, so he's observing? Yep. So there we go. There goes, our bunnies are in. Covering them with uh, chocolate. White chocolate. Okay. You could cover them with uh, just chocolate. You could have brown bunnies. They're getting Absolutely. better. I mean. Do you feel better about it? I mean, I still now? would need it, but yeah, it's better. Okay, so now that the bunnies are done like that, let's move them over here. Let's just move it all over here. So can you bring, hand me your bunnies, the rack, and just set it there. Do we have a shortness of uh, marshmallow bunnies this year, or there are plenty of them? I think Easter. we're gonna have enough Supply chains. Sis, not a supply chain issue with the bunnies. Right. So I've now got some black colored uh, candy melts. All right. And I'm gonna cut the tip off of my little decorating bag. You can use a Ziploc if you need to. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add their eyes back. One eye, two eyes. I'm going to give them whiskers. So this is for the kids, actually, because yeah. or is it for you to give it to the kids? Because I would think this would be great if you had kids and you want to say, hey, we're going to... We have kids. We do, but our kids are probably not going to do the bunny stuff. They'll, they'll, they'll color the eggs, but I don't know if they're okay, going to do the bunny. Okay, let's tell everybody. What, last year we were in New York City for gritty. Easter. It's gritty It there, was yeah. gritty hunting eggs, we actually, I made them wear <laughs> fuzzy Easter bunny ears. In the park, yeah. In the park and run around the park to get their eggs. Collecting I even eggs, gave yeah. the firemen across the street eggs. They said, you were not, they said, you're not from Oklahoma, or you're not from New York, are you? And I said, no, I'm from Oklahoma. No. Yeah. Because I feel like everybody needs to have Easter. So we're just going to decorate our bunnies, put on little pink candy noses, and there you go. So it's, it's arts and crafts. Simple. It's arts and crafts with our Easter candy. It doesn't have to always just be marshmallow peeps. So I hope you enjoy this. Have a merry and happy Easter with your family. Yeah, it's going to be great. And let's go hunt some eggs.